back, JR Production presents the third annual Choir Fest featuring Deborah Barnes, Unified Praise, Total Praise Number no. 2, Vanessa Rory, The Cleanup Boys and New Zion, Vivian Moore and Youthful Worship, Smithfield Adult Choir, House of Deliverance Praise Team. It all takes place on Sunday, February the 4th at the Marlboro Civic Center, 106 Clyde Street in Bennisville. Tickets on sale now. Advanced tickets are $10, at the door $15, children 6 to 12, $5. Doors open at 3, show times at 4. On Sunday, February the 4th. Ticket info, James McDuffie at 843-862-1444. Or stop by Praise and Faith in Chiral, 843-537-6591. Or Gospel Music Store in Laurenburg, 910-276-0918. It's the third annual Choir Fest. Presented by JR Production. Sunday, February the 4th at the Marlboro Civic Center, 106 Clyde Street in Bennettsville. Get your tickets now because you don't want to miss the third annual choir fest. up here bouncing and everything, y'all. Oh, hello, y'all, and welcome to UGA Indie Station. 
Indie Station Who's Who, Block Talk Radio interviews, and y'all, today I got Mr. Jesus Set Me Free himself up in the building with me, and I'm going to get him on in here so we can get this thing popping. Hello, Mr. Theo White. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. I'm blessed. Blessed. Happy to be alive still. Amen. Amen. Well, first of all, thank you for um, taking the opportunity and time to join me right here on Who's Who Interviews. And the next thing I want you to do is to tell everyone who's listening who you are and what it is that you do. You know, just tell a little bit about yourself. Well, let's see here. My name is Theo White. I'm originally from Little Rock, Arkansas, but I reside in Radcliffe, Kentucky, as of now. I served my country for 10 years, uh, the United States Army, and uh, I'm just a, a vessel that's wanting to be used by God, that's wanting to reach out to the youth, the next generation, and show them that everything is all right as long as you put God first. All right. Thank you for serving, by the way. Thank you so much for serving. All oh, right. Okay, so we're here to talk about your music today. And Jesus Set Me Free actually has a video that goes with it, right? Yes, that is correct. And, you know, I was looking at that video and I said, oh, my God. I said, he's got a soft spot for relationships. Because I was looking at how the video, the details and all that in the video, how it was a woman and the man was fussing, and then, you know, somehow things got better. And then I saw that you was on Bobby Jones Presents, presents his yeah. show, and then you actually told the story of that, which confirmed what I was thinking all along. So go ahead and tell us your story. Set me free in that in the music video and tells the story of how you have a man that was married and who put his wife on a hot pedestal, who actually made his wife his God. Um, and in the midst of a breakup, he was uh, fighting not just with the enemy, wanting to kill himself, had the, I mean, the thought of suicide, wanting to give up, wanting to walk away from everything, from church, from God, from his, his own children, had to realize that I was actually fighting within myself. So within that fight, I had to continue to press towards a high mark, towards a high calling, and stand my ground and let Jesus work it out instead of me trying to work it out myself. So in that, he set me free from myself. Okay. So, you know, we do have some men that are out here in bad relationships, and not because the men are bad. You know, we have some good men that are still out here, but we have yes. some women who manipulate them and, you know, do all things they can to cause them to be depressed and feel insecure and have low self-esteem. So when you say press towards Jesus, what does that mean? I mean, for the man out here who may may not know Jesus, what kind of steps did you have to take in order to recover your life? Well, I'll put it like this. In 2004, I, I actually turned my life around and gave it back to Christ. Um, I lived in the world. I did everything that you can think of in the world. But once I crossed over and and began to start living for Christ, I started to see and understand that I'm going to go through some things. But in that, I can't put my trust in a woman because the, the Bible tells us that man will let you down. And that's what happens in the world today because we put our trust in men and women and we think that everything is okay, they'll never hurt us, but they're human. They're going to make mistakes. So along that walk, I have to keep my, my eyes on Jesus because he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll always be there for you. I'll never put more on you than you can bear. So that is one person I know for sure who has always been by my side in the midst of my storm, in the midst of everything that I've went through. He's always been there to give me comfort, to give me joy, and to let me know that everything is okay. That's all right. That's all right right there. So how did you end up on Bobby Jones Presents? Man, my awesome, I call them the awesome duo, Danny and T. Freeman of Holly Favorite Productions. Um, they've been in this, 
I guess you can say, this realm of music doing this thing for some years now. And they're out of Chicago. They live here now in um, Rineville, Kentucky. They're actually um, my pastor's brother and uh, sister-in-law. And once I got connected to them and I started listening to T because she's my manager, and that's one thing I told her, is, you my manager, I'm going to listen. You have been, you know this road, so whatever you say is how it's going to work out. So actually June of 2016, I got to perform in front of him at a banquet out in uh, St. Louis, and then the door opened up for me to go and perform on his show uh, Jan- uh, February of last year. Wow, that's amazing. So how how did that make you feel, and how long have you actually been singing and rapping? Well, I've been singing all my life. Um, rapping is something that just, I would say, over the past five years, it actually hit me because uh, I really wasn't the type to do any kind of rap. Uh, it just one day was at a, a church conference, and they called me up on the stage and wanted me to sing something, and before I knew it, I was rapping and didn't understand where it came from, but I had to learn that the Holy Spirit can do wonders if, as long as you allow the Holy Spirit to take over. So I was very excited because I always used to watch Dr. Bobby Jones on BT and everything, and I always said, you know, one of these days I might end up on, on his show, and when the opportunity happened, I was, I mean, I was lost for words, just like, wow, I'm actually here. <laughs> you, you was actually there, and you're still going, I see. Okay, so when yeah. it comes down to your songs and stuff, who writes, who writes your music, and, you know, who helps you? That's my manager, T. Freeman, and myself. But Jesus set me free. She uh, actually had the hook to the song, and we kind of just played with it. And once I sat down and just started listening to the music, um, words just started coming from my, from my heart. Um, years ago, uh, the Lord told me that uh, my music was going to help heal people and help set them free just by them listening to the lyrics of my song. And what it really is is my testimony. You know, people won't know or will not know what you're going through, what you've been through, unless they hear your testimony. So my testimony is through music, through songs. So what is the main point that you strive to get across through your music? Because I know you said it's because of your testimony, but what do you mainly try to focus on whenever you do put music out there? Each song is different, um, and I try to tell, I guess you could say tell the story. And what I mean by that, uh, because we all go through things, whether it's relationships, if it's your job, um, just life in general. So when you tell your story on on how you, you know, you you know, a lot of people like to think that just because you're in music that, oh, you, you got it made. Um, everything is all, um, all, all glory for you. They don't know the ups and the downs. They don't know what happens behind closed doors when you are lonely or when you're frustrated, when you're having a hard time trying to pay your bills because you actually have a, a regular job that you're working. But as long as you keep focused on God and allow him to use you, not we use ourselves, because our ways are not our ways and our, and our thoughts are not his thoughts. He's in full control. So in that, with my music, I just try to reach out to those that might go through something that I'm going similar to what I'm going through. Right. The, these everyday life situations, I'm telling you, they're out here, you know, and um one thing I noticed is that um, about your song, it has beats, and it's so uplifting that you just automatically want to move. I mean, like I said, whenever I first came on and I was playing it here, I was just moving. So I think you kind of have like a um, a 90s vibe, but it's up to date, you know, like a 90s vibe, but it's in it's in the present time. How do you feel, yeah. um, like, whenever you see people – out here buying your music and, you know, just really giving you good good compliments and stuff. Um, man, lost for words. Uh, when I went and actually performed at the uh, luncheon for Bobby Jones in St. Louis, Dr. Bobby Jones in St. Louis, after I got done performing and the banquet was over with, so just to hear people walk out of the room singing the hook to the song, really brought me joy. That means it's stuck, and they heard something that they can relate to. 